You are just, O Lord, and your judgment is right. Treat your servant according to your merciful love. Brothers and sisters, in order to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, knowledge inflates with pride, but love builds up. If anyone supposes he knows something, he does not yet know he, as he ought to know. But if one loves God, one is known by him. So about the eating of meat sacrificed to idols. We know that there is no idol in the world and that there is no God but one. Indeed, even though there are so-called gods in heaven and on earth, there are, to be sure, many gods and many lords. Yet for us, there is one God, the Father from whom all things are and from, who, from whom we exist, and one Lord Jesus Christ, through whom all things are and through whom we exist. But not all have this knowledge. There are some who have been so used to idolatry up to, until now that when they eat meat sacrificed to idols, their conscience which is weak, is defiled. Thus, through your knowledge, the weak person is brought to destruction, the brother for whom Christ died. When you sin in this way against your brothers and wound their consciences weak as they are, you are sinning against Christ. Therefore, if food causes my brother to sin, I will never eat meat again, so that I may not cause my brother to sin. The word of the Lord. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. O Lord, you have probed me, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Truly you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Probe me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. See if my way is crooked and lead me in the way of old. The 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear, I say, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on the one cheek, offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you, and from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those whom, from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them, and lend, expe uh, lend, expecting, no lend expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great, and your will, you will be children of the Most High. For he himself is, a, is kind to the ungrateful and to the wicked. Be merciful, just as also your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down, and overflowing will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in turn be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. St. Paul says in that first reading that knowledge puffs up, it creates pride. So the more we know, the more we respect ourselves and we get arrogant. And uh, if we want to build up our own life and if we want to build up the church, we practice love. And Jesus in the gospel teaches us how to be loving. It is love that makes God present in our lives and it's love that makes God present in our church and in our world. In the church, sometimes we've been so heady and so educated, filled with all kinds of knowledge, and God is not pleased with that. He looks down on that because that knowledge, thinking we know everything and every in and out of things, puffs us up and makes us proud. No, it's carrying out the command to treat others the way we would want to be treated ourselves. That's what's pleasing to God. That makes God present in us personally and in our families and in our church. As brothers and sisters in Christ, we are called to build each other up in faith. Therefore, let us bring to God our prayers, not only for ourselves, but also for others. For our seminarians, may God richly bless their studies and give them wisdom and courage as they discern the priesthood. Let us pray to the Lord. For community leaders, may the Lord inspire them in acting with mercy and love. Let us pray to the Lord. 
for those who are lonely or isolated. May the Lord fill them with his presence and console them. Let us pray to the Lord. For all students and teachers as the school year resumes, may the love of God direct their hearts and light their way at every step, we pray to the Lord. For all who have died, may they enjoy eternity with the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray again that God would ease this pandemic, take this virus out of our world, and touch the hearts of human beings everywhere, that we might love one another and work together for the good of all. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for all of those in our families and in our midst, in our parish, who are in need because of their sickness or old age, because of isolation and loneliness or discouragement of any kind. We ask God to be with them and give them his love. We pray to the Lord. And for all of our young people, again, asking God to draw them to himself, help them to understand where true value and true love comes from, and to be willing to serve that in their lives, we pray to the Lord. And we offer this Mass this morning for Leland and Marlene Dinkle, Charles and Elaine Burton, that God give them eternal rest and peace, the fullness of everlasting life in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Father of love and mercy, we praise you for your goodness. In your kindness, please hear our petitions, which we bring through Jesus, this, your Son and our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet your, our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praise adds nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. 
And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom... Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life.
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying God with your lives. <laughs>